Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of our Azure API management series. Today I'm going to show you uh, how you can customize your de developer portal uh, uh, page. It's a small uh, tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can uh, change some of the settings, etc. Uh, you can do a lot with a develop, uh, developer portal uh, and this is just something to get you started. Well. We go to, first go to uh, to the portal of Azure. Go to your uh, API management instance. I already have opened it. I'm using the same instance I'm using in the. Uh, I was also using in the previous videos. Car rental API management. Next thing we click. Uh, we, we search for developer portal. Click on the portal the portal overview. And the portal is just a nice thing uh, that was added to the API management. It brings a lot of value. Uh, you can customize it. Also add uh, enable Azure AD. To handle the, the login part of your uh, portal, so uh, all by all, a great, uh, great tool. Well, we click on this link, so develop a portal. This will open also directly the customizer. I think if you're an admin, uh, well, let's just start like this text. We want to change it. Well, we click on it. Let's say welcome to car rental. That's it. That's how you can change it. You can, as you see, if you scroll on, uh, if you click on items elements, you have like the option to edit. This will, like, you can change to where, where, which page it will go. If it needs to uh, open new page, yes or no, etc. Another great thing you have is like moving it. So, to the down, up, something like that. Also, uh, if we like click here, it's a little bit like uh, you know, maybe if some of you knows uh, know uh, know uh, knows that the Elementor of WordPress. It's like almost the same uh, view, etc. Here on the left, these parts are very important. Like we have our pages part, so we can switch to a different page and then customize it. Like if we go to user profile, as you can see, and then we can change how this will look. Or we can go to our API list. Do be aware we are only changing like um, the style of the page, not really the content. Uh, also, a nice thing we have, we can add a new page. Got my new page. As you can see, we can give it a new permalink, etc. And uh, already directly goes to this page. We have the option to change the header, so lots of things we can, great things we can do. Another fun thing we can do is we can uh, upload uh, new images, like maybe company logo or something like that. Another thing we have like the layouts, we have like the home layout, and we can uh, directly change the home layout so it, uh, you know, maybe just the default layout, so it will be uh, applied to all the pages. Also, a nice thing. Uh, also, we have the option to change our uh, menus. If we go to here, as you can see, we have a menu. It's called menu. And if we try to edit it, you can see we cannot add any page. But what we can do, oh, I think also if we go to um, here, no. If we go to here, as you see the main menu, where I was talking about, we can potentially change the label. That's the thing all we can do, but we also can add a new navigation item. And that navigation item can be, first of all, it can be, uh, we need to give it a name like a uh, new page or something. And you see it popping up right here. Next thing, we can choose a link. We can choose an existing page, like the page I just add, uh, created. And say like open it in the same window, very nice things. Close it, and as you can see, uh, yeah, it's now hard to test, but I think we have the option to change the, also, we are now in anonymous, now that's the authentication, no, I think first we need to publish it. We also have option to temporarily save our changes, as you can see, it's saved. And we have the nice option to directly publish our page from here. But if you would like, you can also publish it from here, so we have two options. Next thing, we can change some of the fonts. We can add new fonts. Uh, also, we can do something with coloring, setting up the default colors, etc. So you have lots of options you can do. You can add a, fa a favorite icon, uh, the title, the title of the uh, 
of the whole page, you can change it. So this will be the title that will be displayed here. It's called a little bit of the metadata also. The keywords, the author. You have lots of things we can uh, change and modify. And uh, it's, it's, it's a great, uh, great tool to help you modify and customize your, uh, your whole uh, developer page. Well, that's that. So a little bit of short tutorial just to give you a little bit of the feeling of, of feeling how to uh, modify it. You can take it very extreme or you can take it very slow. So uh, please check out my also my upcoming videos. And thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and have a nice day.